Welcome back, viewers. This is uh, Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, episode 32. So, uh, let's see. We last left off here. We just accidentally uh, killed a little girl, which, you know, my bad. So, let's see. We'll equip that. Morgan, where are you? Morgan, you get that. There you go, bud. So, yeah. So, like, we, we came here for this stone golem shale, and we couldn't activate him because we didn't have the right code word. We found the guy who did have the right code word, but his daughter was trapped here with this demon. The demon wanted us to solve a puzzle, which I was not prepared to do. So instead we just killed her and the girl by accident, and now I have to go awkwardly tell her father that I killed her daughter. His daughter. By accident, of course. Less of shades, no big deal. Boom bam, might a blow. I just beat up a cat. Do you really think that these lesser shades are gonna pose a problem anymore? Can my, like, official title now be the Cat Slayer instead of Grey Warden? JT, the Mighty Cat Slayer. Actually, I don't want that. Ooh, who's this guy? Dead body. Alright, well, let's keep heading this way. Throw another quick save down, because I got the feeling there's more. Yep, my feeling was correct. Alright, let's take care of him. Boom, bam. Come on. Get him. Get him. There you go. Take this one. Go. And now for this one. I'm on. Time to strike him down. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so let's see here, it's good, and we'll go up, got a nice lag, that's great, alright, come on, come on, let's just get out of here, there we go, alright, so, oh, well, this is gonna be awkward, so let's throw a quick save down. Come on, lagging quick save. I don't know why you're having so much trouble right now. Come on. There we go. Alright, we're gonna be alright now. We're gonna be okay. Every little thing is gonna be alright. All what right. happened to her? Is she in there? Why hasn't she come back? Um. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matthews. Um, she's dead. I'm not gonna lie. She's dead. Oh, my poor butterfly. Yeah. Thank you for finding her. Uh, at least, mm -hmm. I'm grateful. Yeah. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Yeah, well, we're different people. Come on. Now, I guess. Well, that was weird. Go. Yeah, I guess you should. Alright, I'll see you later, bud. Sorry about your daughter dying and everything. Man, what a baby. Alright. Why is everything lagging so much? Come on, calm down. Dragon Age Origins. Lagging Age Origins. So clever. Alright, so let's head out of this magical portal here. And we got the word now. I mean, we probably didn't get it in the best way possible, but hey, now we can activate the golem, and all will be cool. Well, it looks like there's no more demons or dark spawns. So that's good. Let's see. Head out this way, and here comes the door. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be so laggy. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. If you don't know why I'm excited, it's because what we're about to get is the best companion of any RPG ever. Probably. Might need to think about that a little more. But it's pretty... If, if it isn't the best, it's one of the best. Know that. 
viewers know that. All right, let's throw a quick save down. And let's go activate this golem. Doolin Han. Yes. Yes. Delayed sound effects. Yes. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control You rod. better believe it, pal. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. Hmm. Um, how do you know I'm not a mage? It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. <laughs> I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. Liliana coming in with the intelligent comments all the time. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Yeah, Gollum, be grateful. Stupid Gollum. Come on, Dragon Age, get it together. Hmm, another mage, I see. Charming. <laughs> <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? And uh, not all of them, no. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Oh, didn't know we were dealing with a mass murderer. Hmm. Let's see, so you don't care for them, I take it? Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. <laughs> Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Okay, I can see where you're coming from, then. I'll bet. Well, go on, then. Out with it. What is its command? Uh, why are you calling me it? Entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. <laughs> it does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Hmm. It certainly does, right in its hand. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Yes. Go on, order me to do something. Okay, um... Let's see here. Fine, fine, attack Alistair. Hey! <laughs> and, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. So, what now? You go on a killing rampage? Don't be ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't mind killing the birds. Those evil birds and their foul droppings. I could crush them all. <laughs> hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. Hmm. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Hmm. Well, I hadn't really given it much thought. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Hmm. Well, what do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. 
I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Yes, and, uh, how do I know you can be trusted? I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? Hmm. It doesn't. Fair enough. Then I promise not to sit on it accidentally or without sufficient provocation. Good <laughs> enough? Alright, you gonna keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. Alright, well, you're welcome to come with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous. Alistair, I'm barely certain I want you to come here. <laughs> I really want to say thanks for stating the completely obvious. <laughs> you know what? I'm saying it. Thanks for stating the completely obvious, Alistair. You're welcome. It's good to have a purpose, yep. you know. I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale. Nice by to the meet way. you, Shale. I'm JT. This should be interesting. Yes, it should. Alistair, you out, boy. Oh, Shale, Alistair, yes. you coming in. Oh yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> Alistair disapproves. Well, whatever, we don't even care about him anymore. Alright, Liliana gets a level up. Let's take care of that real quick. Give you some dexterity in two, and uh, I don't know, one in cunning. And we'll give you that. And... Let's see, that's what it takes to unlock things, right? I think so, yeah. Yep, okay. So we'll give you that. That's what I want you to do. Alright. Well, then, we got Shale as our companion here now. This is gonna be great fun adventures. So, uh, this has been JT's Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, episode 32. Join us next time where we will start our adventure with our new companion. See you next time, viewers.